Hi, this is Luis again to show you some of the new improvements in our particle editor. As you might know, this is the tool we use to create effects like smoke, uh, fire and that kind of stuff that can be simulated with particles. So first of all, we are going to see how the editor now updates particles directly. If you happen to have used the Amnesia tools, you are probably aware of the fact that any change, no matter how small, forced the whole particle system to be recreated and restarted. So any tweaking could get, uh, could get annoying pretty fast, but that should be gone now. Uh, we are going to have a um, system with a single particle to see this clearly. And yeah, well, I load this uh, puffy smoke kind of thing. Uh, and I'm just going to change values at random here in the movement tab as well. Hey. So yeah, well, as you can see, nothing has been restarted at any point. We can also add more particles. Can also change the color range. And yeah, it's uh, no, no restarting has happened at any point. If he, should we uh, want it to be restarted, we have to actually press this button here. Uh, but it's not going to happen otherwise. So that pretty much shows it. Uh, let's move to uh, move, move on to the next improvement here, which is uh, the helper graph for the fadings. You can see in the oh, wh wh where there's a fading uh, controls. Yeah, the the, the graph. And I'm going to just reload the particle system. So these are helpful by showing how the values are going to change over the lifetime of the particle. If I just uh, set those the start and end values here, uh, you can see how it, how they are going to uh, change over over the lifetime. Uh, and this uh, coupled with the uh, next improvement, which are the uh, easing functions for the transitions to from start to middle and middle to end values and the uh, slider to control the medium range. <coughs> well, uh, these this are all not only really, really handy, but they are also really, really, and I mean really, really fun to use. I mean, I could just stay here changing values and dragging the slider just, uh, just for the sake of it, but I'm not just going to stop it now for the greater good. <laughs> Um, well, uh, now let's uh, try out the last improvement, uh, which is the update speed control slider, which is located here. And I'm just gonna load a proper particle system to show this uh, if I manage to do it. Um, well, you see this. Yeah. The thing is, it might happen that you feel something is off in the particle system, but you can't really tell because everything is moving quite fast. But yeah, the old editor wasn't much of help, of much help in this respect. But now you can just slow everything down like this. It just goes bullet time, and you can actually even pause the whole thing. I mean, you can pause the thing. You can check how it looks from every angle. Um, the the thing is that the life updating of particles still work when the thing is paused. So you can just drag the slider around and see the changes happen in, the, in real time and well yeah, once you're done uh, uh, d doing changes or checking just reset to the normal uh, speed and you're good to go and um, well that's pretty much uh, the whole thing uh, i hope uh, you like the video and thanks for watching and see you in the next tool showcase bye